So, hi everyone, I'm Husni Begum and this is the beautiful Jon Snow. Snow, say hello. Alright, he's just relaxing. Um, so, today we are going to give you our top fundraising tip. And so, this really is about, um, is a story about the two of us. Snow has been with us for a few months now and he is he's an outdoor cat and we have been trying to get to know each other over time and building that relationship so so um it's distracting trying to give a fundraising tip when you got your little kitty here okay so um the story is about the two of us and about how we um learned to communicate with each other so um in the beginning, Snow used to bring me gifts, and in principle, gifts are great. But the problem here was that the gifts were unwanted on my part, and he didn't realise that actually I didn't want these gifts, and they were only wanted. He, they only served a purpose for him. He would bring me dead birds, mice, frogs, um, and I didn't understand how to get my message through to him um, that I didn't want these things because we didn't really have a clear line of communication. So one of the evenings he brought me a dead frog. So I was watching TV really peacefully up until the moment he came in with a dead frog and just plonked it in front of me. So at that moment um, I'm scared of these little things so um, I screamed at the top of my lungs and in a supersonic speed I climbed on top of the kitchen worktop whilst continuing to scream and um, I think that did the trick. He quietly picked up his frog, took it outside and he never bought me anything um, again. So um, now he understands all I want is cuddles and love and attention and I think he wants the same so um, we understand each other a lot better now. Having said that, um, his needs might change and mine might change too. So if you haven't already understood, this story is a metaphor for getting to know your donors, developing a relationship with them, giving them what they need. So I guess the tip here would be find out what it is that your donors want how they want it from you and then ultimately just give it to them. Um, I know it sounds really simple um, when you break it down like that and, re and in reality there's no reason why it can't be. So understand who, what they want, give it to them, simple steps. Um, but don't let it stop there because like I said needs change so that means that they might want something later, different down the line. Um, and therefore you need to stay on top of it. Now and again, ask them if they're happy or if there's, if there's something else that they'd like in, and in a different way. So that's my first tip. And I think the second tip, we've got a bit of time for a second tip. Um, I'll make it quick. So when I first started fundraising, I used to work in trusts and foundations and I used to write applications um, and then when I'd finished, I would spend forever with a thesaurus um, trying to make my words, change my words into more clever sounding words and more intelligent sounding words. Um, the thing is, in the process of that, it lost its flow, it lost its authenticity, it lost my voice and my words um, and ultimately it meant that the reader could not connect to it. And if the reader can't connect to it, they can't feel anything. And if they can't feel anything, then it's that it's pointless uh, because they're not going to want to give to you. So um, that's a quick tip from me. Make sure you have your own voice, your own personality, um, your own words, and tell the story through that way. Um, and that's that's going to be it from us. Snow baby, come here, come here, beautiful, come here, gorgeous. Say goodbye. Look. Say bye. Look. Come here. Say bye to everyone. Bye, everyone.